Welcome to Econ is Life. This is Tatsuaki, and today I'm presenting part three of the chapter Costs, Revenues, and Profits. I'm going to talk about profits here. So, first of all, we all have to know the difference between profits and revenues. So, what exactly is profit or profits in economics? Well, total profit is basically total revenue take away economic cost. This is total profit in economics. It deals with、um, both revenue and economic costs. So what is economic cost? I believe I covered this in the previous video, but、um, just to summarize, explicit costs are costs to a firm that involve the direct payment of money, such as purchasing raw materials. Implicit costs, on the other hand, are earnings that a firm could have had if it had employed its factors in another use. So it can be something like、um, the opportunity cost for the business renting a factory or something like that. Okay. So because total profit can be calculated by taking away economic cost from total revenue, if total revenue is bigger. Yeah, is bigger than economic cost. The firm is making abnormal profit, or in the in the other words,、uh, economic profit. If total revenue equals economic cost, then the firm is making normal profit or zero profit, or we can also say zero economic profit. Both are fine. If total revenue is smaller than economic cost, then the firm is making losses. Or negative economic profit. These six terms are what you or、um, IBE called higher level students must know. Must know. It often comes up, and we need to、um, use these terms、um, during the exams.、Okay. So now we're now dealing with、um, three types of scenarios. Yeah, and、um, this will show. Um, the relationship between profits. These are the shutdown price, the break-even price, and the profit maximizing level of output. So the first one, the shutdown price. What is the shutdown price? Well, it is a price that enables business to cover its short-term variable costs. It is price average variable costs. So this is another word. Yeah. So. Covering its short-term variable costs. How can the business do that? Well, if you look look at this、um, diagram, you have marginal cost, average variable cost, and average total cost. As it says, it's short-term variable cost. Now we are looking at AVC or average variable cost curve, and the lowest point of this AVC curve will be the point P here. The shutdown price P. If the business sets their price of their product、um, P, this means the business is able to cover its short-term variable costs. Business must maintain the shutdown price. Must, otherwise the business will fail immediately. So if the business cannot cover its variable costs, then The business is constantly making、um, losses, and they will be a they won't be able to pay for anything. Yeah, but keeping the shutdown price does not mean the business um can uh possibly maintain this price forever. The business cannot do this. They need to ch- change their factors of production to make normal profits, even though. If the business can be able to cover its short-term variable costs, again we also have to deal with fixed costs, right? As I mentioned in the cost video,、um, total cost is the addition or the sum of fixed cost and variable cost. So the business has to find a way to produce their products or set their set their price in、um, in the price. Where they co- they can cover the overall costs. Now there are some、um, examples 
where we can look at um, that suggests or show the nature of the shutdown price. For example, ice cream companies um, in a place where it becomes really, really cold in the winter. They know that ice creams won't be able to be like favored. Um, they understand that during during very cold seasons, there won't be many customers for ice cream. And they understand that they won't be able to keep their shutdown price. So what they do is they close during the winter season and they open maybe during the spring until fall and they'll make lots and lots of profits during that time. And even though um, the business cannot uh, are constantly making deficits, um, and overall, annually, the business is making this ice cream shop shop is making a profit. Yeah, there are some um, examples. Yeah, that shows that if you can't cover your shutdown price, the business shuts down. Okay, the second one, the break even price. Now, if you take IB business class like me, maybe you've heard of this. It is the break, uh, I mean, the break even price is a price that the business um, being able or is able to make normal profits in the long run. Well, how can the business do that? Economic costs, since economic costs includes both explicit and implicit costs, um, the break even price P will be a um, price where it can cover average total costs. Total, that consists of variable and fixed costs. This is the break-even price. If the business is able to um, produce and, and sell their product at this price, P, then the business, although will, won't be able to make any abnormal profits, um, the business can operate in the long run. This is the break-even price. Yeah, so the lowest point of ATC is the break even price the third scenario is the profit maximizing level of output so there are many objectives of operating a business but one of arguably one of the most popular ones is maximizing their profits because that will become the income and salaries for employees and managers and they want money right so the profit maximization is the object, often the big part of operating the business. So profit maximization point can be calculated or it can be found um, by looking at the point where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. The intersection point be between uh, MC curve and MR curve is the profit maximizing, uh, profit maximizing level of quantity. And if you go up, go up, go up, go up, it hits the demand. Yeah, so this will be the right price for the business to sell their product if they want to maximize their profits. Remember, always MC equals MR, and you'll find the Q, and you drag this line dotted line up 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 until it hits the demand curve this is the price yes when mc equals ac actually the difference between average revenue and average cost becomes the most different this is um pretty complicated because it includes um some knowledge of um calculus but um you all have to just the only thing you have to remember here is that mc equals M mc equals mr is the profit maximizing level of output and i just found out that i wrote ac but i mean m r yeah sorry this is MR. So, okay, um, by doing this, MC equals MR, the business can be able to make a normal profit. If you look at this, 
um, now the difference between um, the first one and the second one is they have added AC curve here but with their AC curve here now we can see so first MC equals M MR this is a point Q you draw a dotted line up until it hits demand this will be the price to sell and the cost for the business will be the average total cost it says AC but it's, it's the same for um of ATC yeah so the intersection between AC and this Q line Q yeah is B so this square box PCBA or PABC or whatever is the abnormal profit that the business can make when their profit is maximized. So this is the profit maximizing level of output. Okay, looking at the three scenarios, um, and now we're um, more um, in depth talking about profit maximizing level of output. So even though if the um, business is able to produce their products at the pro um, profit maximization level of output, this doesn't mean the business can always achieve abnormal profit, but sometimes you can also generate losses. So let's look at these three cases and what happens. So it is very useful because um, this yellow line, which is actually average cost curve that I drew, can be moved to observe different cases. For the first one, because if you draw a line here, um, the part where AC hits this dotted line is lower than the demand. Um, like Just like we saw in the previous slide, the business is um, being able to make abnormal profit. This green box is abnormal profit. Okay, now let's let's look at the second diagram. This time, yeah, again, MC equals MR. There's Q, you go up, go up, and you hit demand curve, the demand curve and the average cost curve at the same time, at the same time. So what happens is that this time there is no this green square box that there um, is for the first one, but rather the cost and the sales revenue is the same is the same exactly the same this means the business is being able to make normal profit or zero economic profit so basically plus minus zero kind of okay the third case where the business is making losses so again mc equals mr q dotted line up 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 first it will hit the demand the demand curve this will be the profit maximizing level of output. However, AC cost curve is now um, above the demand curve. And it will this dotted line will hit this ATC or AC curve after or in uh, above the demand curve. So this green box now is actually representing losses. Yeah. So this will be C, this will be P. This P, C, A, B, let's say, if you um, write an alphabet here, A, B, this P, C, A, B is um, showing the losses that the business is experiencing. So by looking at different um, positions of A, C curve, we can understand what um, generating abnormal profit, normal profit and losses look like. Okay, so thank you for watching these websites, um, these books contributed a lot for making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, please comment down below. Once again, thank you very much. This, was, this is Tatsuaki Tsukuda. See you next time.